How to test capacitor. Testing a capacitor involves checking its functionality, capacitance value, and potential issues like leakage or shorts. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to test a capacitor. Note. Before testing a capacitor, ensure that it's discharged to avoid electric shock. 1. Discharge the capacitor. Using a resistor, short the terminals of the capacitor to discharge it. This will ensure that there is no residual charge that could cause harm during testing. 2. Visual inspection. Examine the capacitor for any visible physical damage, such as bulging, leakage, or cracks. If you see any signs of damage, the capacitor is likely faulty and should be replaced. 3. Using a multimeter. A. Resistance test. Ohm meter. Set your multimeter to the resistance, ohms, mode. Connect the leads across the capacitor terminals. Initially, the resistance reading should be low and then gradually increase as the capacitor charges. If the resistance remains infinite or doesn't change, the capacitor might be open, faulty. B. Capacitance test. Capacitance meter. If your multimeter has a capacitance measurement feature, set it to the capacitance mode, usually denoted by a capacitor symbol. Connect the leads to the corresponding capacitor terminals. The meter will display the capacitance value. Compare this value to the capacitor's rated value. If it deviates significantly, the capacitor might be faulty. 4. ESR, Equivalent Series Resistance, Test. ESR is the internal resistance of the capacitor. While multimeters don't typically measure ESR directly, some advanced tools can. A high ESR value can indicate a faulty capacitor. However, this test might require specialized equipment. 5. Leakage test. To test for leakage, use a high resistance resistor, e.g., 1 mega ohm, to connect one terminal of the capacitor to the positive terminal of a power supply and the other terminal to the negative terminal of the power supply. Observe the voltage across the capacitor over time. If the voltage rises significantly, it indicates leakage, and the capacitor might be faulty. 6. Using an oscilloscope. An oscilloscope can help visualize the charging and discharging behavior of a capacitor when connected to a known voltage source. Any abnormal patterns can indicate a faulty capacitor.